Sending cold emails that go to spam is like planting seeds in a desert. No matter how good the seeds are, they won't grow because they're in the wrong environment. If you land in spam, nothing else matters. Not your copy, not your subject line, not even your offer. No matter how good they are, you won't get any results. That's why I want to share the reasons why your cold emails go to spam and how to fix it. There are many reasons why your emails might be getting flagged as spam. Let's break them down into three main categories. Email copy, mailbox setup, and leads. You will go to spam if your email copy is suspicious, lacks personalization, and has formatting issues. Now, what do I mean by that? You cannot use spammy keywords like free or urgent in your emails because spammers use these words frequently and they are recognized as spam. This applies to links as well. Apart from that, if you're sending the same email to hundreds of people, Gmail and other service providers will catch on that it's spam. Lastly, bad HTML formatting could make or break your email. Different fonts or colors usually just scream spam. But how do you fix all of this. First, to fix the email copy itself, either rewrite the whole copy yourself together with adding spin tags or use Salesforce AI personalization feature which will make unique email for each recipient. This will greatly increase your delivery rate. If you choose to rewrite it yourself, make sure to not leave any spam words or suspicious links. And don't forget to add custom variables such as first name or company name. This together with spin tags or AI generated emails will make each email unique and will keep you out of spam. Now if you want to fix HTML problems, it's super simple. Simply toggle HTML only in your sequence settings and you're done. Moving to mailbox setup. Simply put, if your mailbox isn't set up correctly, email service providers won't trust you and push all emails to the spam folder. This starts from having a professional domain and ends with email warmup. Let's fix all of it. To set up the domain correctly, first purchase a domain with high reputation. This means .com domains are much better than .x, y, and z domains. You can either set up domains yourself or use Mailforce to buy the best possible domains and have automatic SPF, DKM, and DMARC set up done all for you in minutes. After that, you need to warm up your inboxes for at least 14 days before sending your first cold email. This is also super easy fix because Salesforce includes a free email warm-up feature. Time to talk about the leads themselves. You can either have unverified or unqualified leads and both are just as bad. Unverified means that the inboxes you're sending emails to are not checked for availability, meaning some of them exist and some don't. If you send too many emails to inboxes that don't exist, your email reputation will tank. Similarly, with unqualified leads, you might be reaching the inbox, but if the leads are just random people, they'll mark your emails as spam. Luckily, both of these things have an easy fix. To filter out inactive inboxes, you can use Salesforce or any other email verification tool. In Salesforce, you can validate emails right in your sequence just before sending. To make sure you're only sending emails to qualified leads, you'll need to do a bit more work. First, identify your ideal client's profile. To do that, ask questions like job title, company size, location, employee count, type of business, pain point you're solving, and buying intent. And only send emails to leads that match your criteria. Now, if you apply everything I told you up until this point, you should see a huge increase in your cold email results. If not, drop your problems down below in the comments and I'll try to help you out personally. Personally.